welcome back to my video tutorial about reinforcement learning and this time we're going to talk about the uh, very very simple example about the, one of the most important reinforcement learning methods called Q-learning. If you look at my uh, description you will find out there is a link to my uh, github and you will find something like this all these are the reinforcement learning codes so down here you find out the readme file that is the that is a summary of my all reinforcement learning tutorial so we'll, so here is the list of the uh, codes that link to you the real code that you can uh, take a look of that today we're using a very simple example that you can take a look of this one and find out the code in here and you can feel free to download the code and modify the code if you want so we'll just I will just uh, let you know what is the reinforcement learning actually doing so if I run this code just this code you will download here if I run that you found today it's just uh, this O is kind of an explorer and this T is my treasure so this explorer wants to get the treasure as soon as possible as fast as they can so and in episode 1 you see that the uh, total step the explorer spend is 38 steps but as the explorer continuously exploring this area they found out the shortcut to the treasure that is the main idea of reinforcement learning so they learn in the environment and find out what's the shortest path or what's the what is the best way to achieve my goal that is reinforcement learning so as explorer learns in the environment they get the treasure they get to the treasure uh, in a short amount of time like seven steps or just go straight to the treasure so that is the code we're going to talk so at the end, I print out something. I will explain what is this table. So let's focus on the code. You don't have to worry about the code because you, I, I, I know you cannot understand the full idea of behind the reinforcement learning. So I just introduced some basic idea in the reinforcement learning in this tutorial. Later on, we'll talk about the detail about this code. So uh, in every reinforcement learning, we have some basic things that we call uh, the actions. How many actions I can take as the agent? For this example, I have two actions. One is go left, one is go right. So all the way to the uh, right, I will get the treasure, right? So another one is how many states we have. Um, this one is not necessary because in, in the later on problems we solve uh, unlimited states but in this example we have six states one is uh, the left end and uh, the all the way to the right end we have that uh, we have six uh, steps to go right and uh, all this one is the hyperparameters of my reinforcement learning one is the uh, epsilon is a greedy factor it's a greedy policy factor that is how many randomness I introduced to the action selection and the alpha is the learning rate just like any supervised learning they have a learning rate in the uh, RL and the gamma is the uh, reward discount or reward uh, discount factor or reward decay that is how many uh, in reinforcement learning we have one of the key element is the reward so if i take this action at the current state how many reward i can get or if i can take another action how many reward i can get from another action so the reward is sort of like a guided system so the reward guide me to select the action with the highest reward that is the reinforcement learning so if you are design the reinforcement learning you will design the reward function as well because you want the agent to achieve higher highest reward they can get so you are design the reward to best behave your agent and um, the uh, last one is the app <coughs> how many episodes we we're, we're, we're going to explore in this example we use 13 episodes and achieve the highest reward and this one is just fresh rate a fresh rate of your game 
So in this example, in a typically queue learning or, or table or queue learning, this is actually a table. So if I uncomment this one and print out the table and state, I've, if I give uh, four states and how many actions, if I just give, give a list of uh, A and B, and this is the queue table and the agent or the computer are trying to learn from the environment and put the update value in the queue table and select the action depends on the queue table. So all the key element is stored in the queue table and all the decision making is based on the queue table. That is the queue learning, the basic idea of the queue learning. So if I just, just do this, and run the code. You found out this is actually the queue table we're going to learn, and we'll put some values in here, in here, in here, in everywhere in the queue table. And this value is uh, indicator about the um, value of the action A and B is the actions that I can take. For example, go left and go right. So um, all this indexing is the state so for example this one is the uh, left end state and this one is the right end state so at left end state and if i take action a how many how many value is the uh, action a at state zero and how many value is uh, action b at state zero in the typically currently i would choose the va the highest value as the actions I will I will take in the environment. This action is choosing action. So the action uh, decision making or the action choosing is actually based on the queue table and the state we are visiting. If I visiting the state one and I found out the state one is corresponding with, um, for example, in here is. 0.1 and here is 0.2 I would choose 0.2 or action B at this state but normally we'll introduce some randomness in the action choosing because we want to accidentally choose some other value other than the maximum value so just going to explore something because once you always choosing the maximum value you you stop exploring right so we introduce some randomness to help the agents to explore the environment and uh, this is the actually the environment so we have the queue table to store the queue values or the action value and the reward and uh, uh, this is actually how the environment responds to our action at some particular state. So if I add a state S and take action A, um, environment will give you some feedback about uh, you will end up with, this one is represents the uh, next state. And this one is represents the reward you get from in state S and take action A, how many reward you can get. So this is actually the, uh, uh, the, the environment function. So and this one is just print out the environments, just print out the uh, explorer and the treasure. So we can just ignore it from here. Our algorithm is writing here. We just ignore it because we were talking about the RL, the uh, Q learning algorithm in the next tutorial. So in the basic Q learning or RL method, you you get some sort of like queue table to store the uh, values and the action choosing and this is decision making and the environment and how the environment will give you some feedback based on your current situation and the update environment is the actually the environment itself and the RL method is the um, reinforcement method that you use to uh, update your decision making. So those are the key elements about the uh, reinforcement learning. Okay, let's see you at next tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and like it and even share it to other people that you think who want to know that or who is interested in that.